be nice yeah. to yourself. I feel like I just hit that pop. To the vlog friends, amigos, viewers. The smoothie. We have a smoothie. We came to the beach. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. It's raining. It's raining. But we're all here. We have our snacks. William, William and Rachel are here. Okay, okay. we're currently having a very important conversation that I want to put out into the world because I just am very passionate about it all of us are so we were talking about basically your self-confidence and yourself and the image that you have and the words that you speak to yourself and how they can manifest themselves so we were just talking about the importance of positive self-talk and what were you going to well say? I was gonna tell the two beautiful young ladies in the car and the son that's in the back hiding um, that it's it's super important how we talk to, to ourselves yeah so I was going to divulge what I say to myself every okay day in the shower. Like yes, the, I'm okay. The young women. So, young women out there, and you can have your own mantra, I say whatever, whatever, you know, and it can be a couple words, and the first one is, I am. I am strong. I am powerful. It seems silly. You think, oh, words are not that powerful, but to me, words are more powerful than anything else. So, this is just a little spiel little about the importance cents. of self-talk no. oh and another thing that we talked about was social media and it's really really easy to compare yourself to all of the people out there people are only posting like their highlights like they're yeah. not posting like the bad parts of their life they're only posting the good parts right. but then when you see that all the time it's like oh like they are what's wrong with me why are they yeah like, right no it's easy to do there's that there's like no transparency yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but what i like is that there have been more people that have been showing like yes. the yeah, other no, side of sure. their lives and now, i think that's and they post like oh this was the picture that i finally got after taking 200 pictures yeah yes Make bottom line casual. Be, nice yeah. be nice to yourself be gentle to yourself <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. Yesterday was a super, super chill day. We just went to the beach and relaxed. Today, I made a to-do list of all the things that I want to get done today. I mean, it's already like 12 o'clock. I had a very slow start to the morning, but I need to do a couple of things for my school, like creating my teacher email. I'm gonna organize some binders, which I'm gonna show you guys the covers that I designed for them that are super cute. Um, and then I want to go to Target, but we're also gonna go to Sprouts to get groceries and to another thrift store to see if I can find some more things for my classroom. And then I hopefully will be able to do a workout and then I need to plan for my meet the teacher day because we have been getting a couple of emails from the school, like my principal telling us things that we need to start doing because it's already time to get back to school. So we have meet the teacher on like August 8th and then we have open house on September 10th. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of like a family outing with my mom hello, and my brother, but he probably doesn't want to be in the vlog. Do you want to show them your outfit? Yes. She's really excited to show outfits today. Um, we got her this outfit for her birthday. So this is my outfit of the day. Lululemon, lavender top, and then the pants. My outfit of the day is very summery, honestly. This is just a tank top that I got, probably from like Urban Outfitters or something, but on sale because I refuse to pay full price at Urban Outfitters because it's so expensive. Um, and then these shorts I got in Spain. It's from Stradivarius, but I think that you should be able to order them online. These are like the best shorts ever because they're long enough and they're comfortable. And then I got this shirt at the Zara sale. We're gonna go do our errands and I will show you guys all the teacher content stuff, so. See you there. Things. We found two puzzles and a brand new Connect Four. So I have also found these, which I want to put in our treasure box. That are like just little animals. These are dinosaurs, and then there are also some farm animals. 
I feel like I just hit jackpot with this. It's a bulletin board set of like sun and rainbow for decorations and it's like $2, $1.29. Stealing my I'm coming from a different thrift store and we have been extremely successful. So I have some card games that have numbers and then also ones that have shapes and then I found an alphabet match game and then I found all these books. I'm very excited. I finally feel like I have enough books for my classroom. So it's going really well. Okay, we just got back from running errands. It started pouring, um, but we're gonna do a little, we I don't know what this is called, like an immunity shot thing, taste test review. Okay, this one is, it's a brand called So Good So You Detox Pineapple Orange, powered by spirulina and kiwi fruit. It is the same brand. Happy Blood Orange Guava, powered by ashwagandha, saffron, no, no, that's the, and 100% Vitamin that's, D3. That's the one Willie's talked about. It, it, um... Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is good. It's very sweet, which oh, we mine love. Mine is good. Mine is good. Ooh. Hmm. I actually really like this brand. Actually, this is very good. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys quickly these binder covers that I made for different binders that I'm going to have in my classroom just to organize things for myself. So, I have a teacher resource binder um, and I have my name at the bottom. I designed these on Canva. I think they're so cute. Right now, so far, what I have in here is just like the school calendar. I have what I'm going to do the first day of kindergarten. And then I put some resources, like activities that I have from when I did my internship. And then this is just like teacher evaluation stuff. So the things that you should be doing as a teacher to know that you're effective. The next binder I have is a bit bigger. And this is going to be my student data binder. So I'm gonna have every student's name in here with all of their data for like progress monitoring, testing, and behavior, all sorts of things like that. And then the last binder I have right now is the substitute binder, which is also empty. I have not filled it yet, but when I do fill it, I'll let you guys know what I decide to put in here. So these are my cute little binders, so fun. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. We are going to head to the gym. Today, we're going to do chest and try. Basically, the plan for today, I just was on my computer. I had my lemon water to wake up. I know I showed you guys yesterday. I made like a to-do list of all the things I wanted to do. I did not get it done yesterday, so I need to continue and like finish all of those things today. But my sister came in town last night, and tonight we are going to go like have some family time and kind of celebrate like my mom and my birthday. But I'm going to get a workout in this morning with my brother. Let's get going with the day, get our workout in, and feel good. I do not like the taste of this because it has a lot of stevia. So I don't like the taste of fake sugar, and so I know a lot of people do. I'm going to kind of like dry scoop it because I just... I don't like the flavor. I also will put the benefits of BCAAs here, just in case you're interested. I definitely don't think it's necessary to have, but these are the supposed benefits. I haven't been like taking this very often, so I don't really have like a full review of how I feel about it yet. Also, I'm just gonna have this granola bar before we go. Also, the outfit of the day, the gym outfit. The sports bra is from Gap. I actually really like Gap activewear. I feel like nobody ever talks about it, but I like it, it fits well, and I always get it when it's on sale. So that's the sports bra. It's like in a cute like orange color. And then these leggings are from Gymshark. I'm gonna start a little mini project. I have this mirror that I've had in my room for a while and I wanna like repurpose it and use it for my classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and basically like take off or try to take off all of these little shells. This is the color we're going for for the mirror and I got this as a gift a little while ago but I want it to be like a nice pastel color. So we're gonna spray paint this also. So let's get started. I'm gonna like fast forward all of this. Mm -hmm. 